farm in the big city. How are you this morning? It is pretty early and it's nice and cool. We're heading to the school garden to do a little work there. I thought maybe you'd want to see the garden and some of the things that we've done. Not a whole lot, a little, just a little bit. Last time we were here, I worked on these wheelchair beds. It looks like the chives are doing really well. And just a little bit of weeding needs to be done in these today. Not much. This is the sage I planted and some chives that we planted. This is the three sisters bed that I weeded. That looks good. Everything's growing really nicely. And then this bed, we planted, we put some cardboard down and we planted some squash and some sunflowers. And it looks like some of the sunflowers are coming up and it looks like we can transplant some of these. Look, there's a lot of them right here. So we can split some of those and transplant some of those. Uh, that's nice. But this needs to be weeded a little bit. But my goal today, I started weeding this last week, this bed. It's one of the sensory walk beds. And uh, I need to weed this one. and this one so that's my goal for today i don't know if i'll get it done but i'm gonna try and then these beds other beds i'm gonna have mr steve weed whack them i also need to do the sand this is the sand one so we need to order more sand for that anyway i better get to weeding We need to order some more pea gravel for this area and I need to get rid of these weeds. So I am using some weed killer that's all natural. So let's see how it works. Look at nature. I'm careful not to do any of the plants that can be transplanted and place somewhere else.
These are little markers that we had in the wheelchair beds to show the five senses. And it looks like I need to take them home and sand them and repaint them. So we will take those home today after we're done here. Whew, that was hot. All right, I am, we're home now. And I am going to rinse off with some cool water, just in case there were chiggers, which there's almost always chiggers at the school garden. So I'm gonna rinse off and put some cooler clothes on. Okay, so we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Time to rehydrate. And then I wanna do those signs that I bought back from the school. It's a lot cooler here than it is at the garden. I have to tell you for sure. Let's see how this works.
That was a full day, two days <laughs> of work. And uh, we've been going out there every Monday and doing a little bit and a little bit. Um, this weekend, Mr. Steve will be home. He's been gone for a few days. But this weekend when he gets home, we'll be working on the garden because there are some big things that I need done at the garden. I need some trees cut down or trimmed back. And there's this huge rose bush and just a lot of big muscly things that I just can't seem to manage. But so Mr. Steve will be helping me in the garden this coming weekend. But I think we're making progress. Um, sometimes it's just that, you know, filling that bucket one drop at a time and then the bucket finally gets filled. And I think we're making pretty good headway. I have a fellow educator that I am working with and we are going to try to hold a, a kind of a mini seminar for the teachers at that school and introduce them to the garden and show them. You know, I will probably uh, walk them around and show them the garden and let them know what everything is. And then she will do her part and her part is all about the brain and how the brain works and how she, how the teachers can use the garden to help the kids and their brain functions. So I'm really excited to be able to do that. And we talked about it and you know, we're in the initial meeting of talking about it. And now I think um, we're ready to start going forward with that. So I'm hoping that that will happen for those teachers at that school so that they can understand and realize that the garden is not just for um, the gardeners, but it's for everybody in the school. Anyway, a lot of talk, right? Always chatty, chatty, chatty when it's time to leave. I guess I just don't want you to go. <laughs> I just want you to stay and not leave. But um, anyway, I want to thank you for stopping by and visiting me here on Miss Annette's little farm in the big city. Try to get outside today if you can. Take care of yourself and take care of each other. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Love you.